what she's doing dressed up like this. Well, you're going to have to tune in and find out. And this is for you, Barb. You know what? For us chubby people, it's actually kind of hard to, to tie our shoes. That's one thing I'll be excited about when I lose 100 pounds. And another thing I tried to do is I tried to keep my pants right here that, that are for incentive. And as you can see, they don't even have the tag off yet. I bought them about three months ago, hoping that I was going to be able to get into them soon. Not yet. Here we are at a typical day at the Coombs household. Hey, let's introduce my kids, my beautiful, amazing kids. This is Jaden, age eight. Say hi to the camera. Yeah. This is Kendra. She's six. No, I'm not. How old are you? Five. Oh, that's right. Your birthday's coming up in a couple of weeks. How'd I forget? Five. Going on six. Uh, this is Colin, <laughs> age 11. <laughs> going on 21 he thinks right and this is Larry say hi Larry say hi to the camera good job Larry this is Larry he's been living with us for a good 10 or 11 years now huh oh gosh Colin you left the door open Forget it. It's not worth it. You get her, okay, Colin? <sighs> Typical. The morning at our house, like I said. I would have finished introducing the rest of my family earlier, but this one ran off again, as usual. This is Trixie, and this is Titan and Jordy, who were both rescue dogs. And this is my fabulous, amazing behind the scenes cameraman and editor. And husband Micah Coombs. I'm, hi, I'm hi Micah. everybody. <laughs> hey, I'm here at my preschool, ready to pick up one of my favorite students off the bus. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to take off your backpack. We'll get out your feeding tube, okay? I'll get you in and get you fed this morning. Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Okay, let's get you to your walker. Okay. Oh, look at your pretty princess shoes today. I love it. Hi, how are you? Good. Can we hang up your stuff? Okay, put your stuff up. My favorite thing about my preschool classroom are these chairs. As you can see, they're really made made for those of us that are, you know, a little on the tubby side. All right, let's get you fed, huh? You hungry? Hey, let's stand up. All right, you ready? Let's do it. Let's get the wiggles out. Woo! A tootie top, a tootie top, a tootie top top. <laughs> A tootie ta, a tootie ta, a tootie ta, ta. Thumbs up, thumbs up. A tootie ta, can you do it? A tootie ta, woo! Together, thumbs up, thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up. I am a ta, a tootie 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 ta, Knees together. Arms up. Thumb out. Aisha. Aisha. And then the down. Oh, oh, let's see. No, just shh. Got to be quiet to see if you can get a job. If this is your name, stand up. Stand up. If this is your name, stand up.
only halfway through my day and I'm already exhausted. Isn't that the way it goes, guys? I'm um, correct. Sure not enough. even halfway through. Okay, you're right. Not even halfway through. A third of the way through my day and this is, I'm already exhausted. We always have a candy dish available for stress relief and my elixir. This is a drink of the gods, let me tell you. If I didn't have my 44 ounce, I wouldn't make it through my day. That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> this is your drink of the gods. This is my drink of the gods. <laughs> oh, wait, let's get that in there. No, that's great. Right. Thank you. Here in Utah, we like to make rice. This is a cool trick. Let me show you. We mix the ketchup and the mayonnaise. Make a cool dipping sauce, and of course, like you, as you can see, I like my mayonnaise. All right, guys, let's dig in. Honestly, a goal I have would love to achieve is I want to be a competitive weightlifter. It's something I've wanted to do for years now, and I just haven't been able to get the weight off to be able to do it. And even though I'm really strong, I have like no endurance. Um, I try to run a mile, and I'm huffing and puffing at halfway through. So I just need help with knowing how to be to have more endurance. As you can see earlier, I have an amazing job. I work with fun people and I do something that I totally enjoy and love. But honestly, by the end of the day, I am so exhausted, I have nothing left for my family. Almost everybody in my family is overweight and everything centers around food. The whole, our life is around food. If we get together for family activities, so what are we going to eat is the main thing that we talk about. And recently my mom has been really unhealthy and it's all because of weight related issues and I just don't want that to happen to my family. I don't want my family to go through the same thing that I've gone through my entire life um, with my mom. And I promise you that I am game for anything. You put me on your show and I promise I will be the next biggest loser. Basically I just need the know-how and I promise you that I will fulfill my dream of being a competitive weightlifter. Because Barb, I met you in Salt Lake City, and at the casting call we talked about people that we really liked on the show. And in our in our talk, we said we all liked Tara. Well, Tara can pu could pull a car. I thought if Tara could pull a car, I'm gonna try a truck. Barb, this one's for you. You know how to do your job well because you found the next biggest loser in Salt Lake City. <laughs> Ready? Okay, we ready? Right, here you go. Go! <laughs> I promise you, I'll be the next biggest loser. 